Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome to a new video, a video that is going to explain the maps, the map from Warlords 3 and the draft, the process, how we are going to choose the civilizations, the maps, well, everything, you know. Draft is crucial for the for any event, but for this one is probably even more, and you're going to see why. Anyway, we're going to start right now checking the maps. Mm, it's going to be, remember, seven categories with three maps each, and we're going to start with the first one that is open maps, guys. You can see the maps here. Secret Spring, Haboob, and Land Madness. Land Madness and Haboob are very well known. As you can see, they are, well, very open and aggressive. Land Madness is similar to Arabia, but you can see how these borders around the Palisades, they cannot wall. We all know pretty much. This map, Haboob, is a very aggressive map with two big woodlands in the middle and forests at the back, but there's a line that you cannot build, so that's why it's tricky to go to the to the edge of the map and Secret Spring, that is the new one. You can see that there is four places with shorefish. Then the goal is in the middle around that big forest in the middle of the map. Well, very aggressive uh, map that you really need to take care of. Uh, the shorefish, the middle, quite open map. It's almost impossible to wall because if you wall your base, you still need to go outside. So it's, it is a very, very, very nice one. Which one is the next category? or category, oh, the semi-open ones. Well, Lowland, it reminds me a little bit of Acropolis, but there is a, most of the resources uh, in that middle, in the downhill, you know, so you will have to expand your economy. It's more or less easy to wall in the starting area. And this is the new map for, for the event. Enclose is a map that we know pretty well. You can see how nice it looks there, you know? And uh, well, with also that border that you can see, the circle border that it's, um, and wallable as well, and with a lot of resources all over the map. Yeah, this brings always great games, and what can I say about Arabia? Do I have to explain Arabia? I don't think so. Next category, hybrid maps. Well, Kawasan, very well-known map, and we have here two new maps, you know? Spiral and Golden Lakes. Spiral, you can see that generation where the TCs are close to the water, but the good thing is that, like the Spiral, the generation here, the TCs can spawn in circles. And that map has also uh, berries, deers in those spawns. There is a gold and a stone all over as well. It's a pretty cool one, a really pretty cool one. Golden Lakes is a mix of four lakes and golden pit with a lot of gold in the middle, four lakes in the corner, you know, something different, something completely different. You cannot be here chilling like you do most of the times in four lakes, right? Here you have to be careful and try to go for the middle and conquest that one. And Kawasan, well, with relics around the, the water and then the middle with a lot of berries as well, is a kind of open map as well, but the water is going to have an important role here. The base usually can be wallable, but you know, you, you have to expand. You cannot stay also in your base because you need to fight for several spots. Yeah, very cool maps. Very cool and difficult map for sure. Then my favorite maps. Thanks God that you don't see now my face, but man, water maps. Water maps, well, Northern Ireland is really well known. It's um, with an island in the middle, you start with a transport ship, you know? Pacific Islands also start with a transport ship as well. And you can see how you start, well, like migration with two islands, but it's completely different because migration has a different opening. There's no boars, while Pacific Island has boars. It's completely different. And also two islands in Pacific Islands, migration is only a one big island. So you have to be careful in, in Pacific Island if you go to one land, to the other. This is going to bring a lot of, a lot of crazy games, you know, a lot of, a lot of crazy games. And we try also this because I think even if my, you know, guys, that the water is not my favorite, but here you can have a combination of a lot of water, but a lot of land aggression as well. It's going to bring some, some very interesting games for sure. Then we go to the closest one. Well, we don't know Black Forest. Black Forest has a tweak. We don't integrate lakes that is well known in team games because we don't think it's possible to balance and, and really make it fair. And we want the most fair possible tournament. We increasing one rally. So we get three relics to one side, one, uh, three relics to one side, three relics to the other. And Arena, for example, has the distribution fair for the rallies, one in the middle and two close to each player. They still need to fight for them. And we, we know Arena, right? Uh, the map Fortified Clearing. It's also a, a no map as well, with two differences here. 
Uh, there is some versions that this wallable at the edge of, is unwallable at the edge of the map. If this one is standard, you can wall. But here, even if you don't see because the, 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 the image is big, but it's probably maybe not big enough, it's palisade. It's not a stone walls anymore in front. And at the back is open. So this can bring a lot of a lot of different things. Well, we will find out. Nomad! Oh, well, Nomad map. It's really well known. It's the classic one, the map that was used the most in the previous edition. And then we have also, which one? Myret. Myret, well, in that center is all the food you get. It's like 10 boars. People need to fight for those boars. Remember, you cannot build anything there. And then you try to build the TC as close as possible, find a wood line and fight for the boars. And then from there, expand all over the map. Compass, the most complicated, probably, and also unique new map that we have integrated in this edition. You start in those two mini islands in the middle. You start, if I'm not mistaken, with five villages and four fishing ships. And then you have to migrate with the transport ship that you start to one of the sites and start to grow from there. The water is going to have a really important role, but did you know there's four seasons. Every, every corner, every spot is one season, you know? So... Well, more wood in one, some gold, all that, you know. It's pretty clear in those graphics, and you need to, to fight for, for those. And then my favorite, well, one of my favorites is the chaotic one, you know. Alp Alpine is a crazy map, really crazy map. They start in, in that kind of crater, you know, but you can expand all over. There's woodlands at the back, those hills, there's several boars. And, well, you need to fight for those boars, and then from there, a lot of action. Vorder Dispute, also starting in, in that small area in the middle, that there's four boards and two for each player. But if you are being slow, you will have some big problems to take those. And then here we have Socotra. Socotra, guys, that is with water, but there's no fish. It just open to a possibility to come from behind with some tower, maybe. Maybe it's great. It's more visual than other thing. Other than that is the original Socotra, and there is not a difference at all. Well, this is the, 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 the seven categories, you know? And then, obviously, it's kind of hard to, to, to see how all the maps are, but we will find out in the so matches. We have done one. Now we're going to make another one after this video has been released. But it's going to be Bal versus Sito. But then we need to know how it's going to be the process to select those maps, right? And those maps are going to be selected well, like these guys. Well, this is in a best of five or best of uh, seven. Doesn't matter. We're going to be starting that. One player will pick, guys, will pick the category, you know, that is going to be the higher seat. The higher seat will pick the category. You know, for example, if you pick an uh, open map, you know, then the other player will start picking the map, and then from there, they will go, you know, five maps. So yellow, that is the, the second player, you know, is the lowest player is picking. But the category is going to be blue. It doesn't appear here, but they know, they say, okay, I want, let's say close. So imagine the close one is Arena Black Forest. And yellow here, that is the lower seat, will pick Arena. Then you pick uh, the high, uh, you pick the higher seat, will pick the next map. And when you pick the next map, this is going to be improved. Because when you pick, for example, Arabia, you know, the other maps are not going to be selectable. But here, guys, we're going to have for the draft or when the tournament starts, colors. So all the seven categories will have seven different colors. And then you only can pick one from each category. That's the thing, you know, and you can see alternative Picking for the best of seven is just the same, but two more maps. You know. And what about the civilizations anyway? If you have any doubt and so on, ask below below the stream, below the video, and I will answer everything, you know. And other people will also answer. But I will repeat again. Okay? So higher seat, pick the category. And the lower seat that is yellow, pick the map. And then from there, alternative. Lower, higher, lower, higher, lower. You know? It seems that, okay, it's three picks for the lower, but not really, because it's probably more important that you pick the category, you know? 
Yeah. Okay, we go now for the civilizations. We will have as much bands as the maximum maps possible to play. If it's a best of five, it will be five bands hidden per player. If it's a best of seven, seven bands hidden per player. So it's minimum of seven civilizations up to 14. As simple as that, they are hidden. Then we have the first two pick also hidden. So they can mirror two civilizations. If they think that the remaining sieves are the best, and they can pick like this. This opens the possibility that no matter if you are higher or lower seat, you're going to be able to pick the, your favorite civilization. And then from there, it is starting to pick the higher seat. Pick, one pick, two, 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 one. The same for best of seven, as you can see. One, two, 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 and one. And the two hidden pick as well. And basically, with this video, we have covered already the draft process. There is a handbook that I'm going to put the link below the video so you can check everything, all the information, if it's not being super clear. Also, all the maps and everything, it's in the handbook, and I'm going to integrate there. Remember, I will make some more videos. There is one video that you have, you have been asking a lot. How to support the tournament, how to increase the price pool, how to support me and my team to cover the expenses. That's going to be another video that is going to happen very soon. Hopefully, guys, you, you enjoyed this video and has more clear what is coming. That is an amazing tournament. We'll enjoy a lot, guys. You know what? We love this game and we're going to enjoy a lot with World of 3. If you like the video, please, Subscribe, thumb up, leave a commentary. Very important. Tell me, guys, any question or what you think about the system. I think it's going to be beautiful. Stay tuned.